My master said, Darth Vader. The force was strong in me. He made me wear a blindfold and reach into his pants to look for the force. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself today. I'm so proud of myself. You know what? Yay! All right, y'all. This is what we got today. We got the whole first season of Dave Chappelle, The Chappelle Show. Now, I watched some clips on my other channel, Mr. Video, a uh, while ago, man, like a year or so ago. And everybody was ragging on me, getting on me in the comments. You got to watch the full episodes. This is before I even had the um, this channel, the movie channel. So this was before it ends. So now, you know what? We're going to load this thing up from the pilot. I never watched them from the pilot. Now, I've seen some clips. I'll let y'all know which one i seen if I, I come across them. Or not if, when. But other than that, man, we about to load up. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Let's get it. <laughs> you doing? <laughs> Killing my vibe. <laughs> she was hitting it though. Crazy dancing, making my penis soft. <laughs> you should have seen a girl that was sitting there before you. Then she go right there. <laughs> he said, I got to get rid of the white chick. Give me a sister. Was this the first thing Dave Chappelle ever did, y'all? Was the Dave Chappelle show? Was this his come out in Hollywood? I can show y'all whatever I want. As a matter of fact, I'll show you a little bleeper. Blooper. <laughs> <laughs> Titty popped out. I felt guilty like I did that with my mind. This is the first episode, y'all ready? So, some sketch comedy, y'all ready to see some sketches? It's dedicated to a copy place that I frequent. And the reason I'm talking about it, because their service sucks. I think I seen this one on the, uh, yeah, pop copy. I think I seen this one on the channel. And if you're watching this video, that means you've just been hired to work here at Popular Copy. Yeah! And if a supervisor happens to ask you where you were, your response should sound something like this. Got here when I could. Shit, you're not my fucking mom. <laughs> Perfect response for a boss at work. Perfect. Yes. Servicing the line. Just remember your job is to frustrate them and make them feel unwanted. I mean, you know my reputation. I mean, I don't give a fuck. I'll go to Rikers for three or four years just to prove my point. Can I help you? <laughs> oh. Yeah, I suck toes. Can I help you? Any toe suckers out there? Raise your hand. What is it in my crazy? And I took a shower. Tell them we're PC. If they use PC, tell them we're Apple. And if they got both, then tell them we use Linux. System actually went down. It's gonna be shut down for a couple hours. Please, how can Listen, you sister, sister, I gotta go take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Pop copy gonna be out of business in a week. Yeah, no, see, I am the manager. You as a manager? That's right, my friend. I wanna see your manager. Uh, you're the manager? That's right, how many are you? you? You done, that's it, your job is what? done. Why? Cause fuck them, that's why. <laughs> be sure to spray chocolate sauce on the wall near the toilet to give the appearance of errant feces. Verify this gets done once an hour, 24 times a day. Whoa, now that looks poopy. <laughs> Welcome to the Pop Copy family and congratulations. <laughs> I need an application. That's the place to work. Screw the customer. Ah, the good old times when you were allowed to cuss and do what you want on TV. It ain't like that no more. I'm a huge fan of the hip hop music because it's not like women were objectified and when hip hop came out, we've been objectifying women for centuries. <laughs> Tired of hip hop taking the rap. Take a look at your beloved Nat King Cole. Poor shepherds in field. It's an excellent year. And as for you, my dear, happy holidays, you trifling bitch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, I'm horny. <laughs> Come back next year when I put some little eggnog in your face. <laughs> Dude sounded like P. Diddy at the end. We ain't gonna talk about him right now. Minutes ago that you were afraid I was gonna end up looking like my mother. I didn't say that. Yes, you did. No. Help has arrived. Don't call me a liar, that's I didn't say that. <laughs> Hell Dennis, no. What are you saying, Brian? In your face. You're gonna go masturbate. The home stenographer. We screw the home stenographer, you know, if we don't got a girlfriend. Read back when that babysitter told the kids to go to bed. Go to sleep. My boyfriend's here. We're going to have us a sex session. Kids, we don't want to go to bed. She's never coming back. I would make out with Matt Damon. I don't know, man. You said it, though. Now, for those on the go, the travel stenographer. 
I would bang Ben Affleck. Stupid dwarf! Welcome to Chappelle's show. I still haven't been canceled yet. <laughs> but I'm working on it. Yeah, I, yeah. This is probably the wildest thing I've ever done in my career. And I showed it to a black friend of mine. I had set black people back. With a comedy skit. Contains gratuitous use of the N-word. For the last 15 years, a man named Clayton Bigsby has been the leading voice of the white supremacist movement. His books, Dump Truck, Nigger Stain, I Smell Nigger, <laughs> and Nigger Book, have sold over 600,000 copies. <laughs> Nigger Book is too good! Very <laughs> few have ever seen him. He agreed to give his first public interview ever. Uh, excuse me, we're looking for Clayton Bigsby. The family. <laughs> uh, what, you don't think I can write them book? A black white supremacist. Amazing. Bridget Wexler is the home's headmistress. So we figured we'd make it easier on Clayton by just telling him and all the other blind kids that he was white. That ain't even cool, though, Bridget. I've written six books. They published for. Sir, my message is simple. Mexicans, Arabs, and all kinds of different chanks stink, and I hate them. <laughs> what exactly is your problem? How much time you got, buddy? <laughs> How much time? Where would I start? Well, <laughs> first of all, they're lazy, good-for-nothing tricksters, crack-smoking swindlers, big butt-having, wide no. Beat up all the chickens. They think they're the best dancer. <laughs> I don't even know if I should be laughing. It's hilarious. Tell me one of them coons came by his house to pick his sister up for a date. Anyone has sex with my sister, it's gonna be me. <laughs> what if I were to tell you that you are an African-American? Sir, I'm in no way, shape, or form involved in any negatum. You understand? <laughs> yes, sir, but... Why don't you bring your media cameras over there if you want to see some real truth? Is anybody in the comments involved in any negatum out there? Let me know. Why not tell him he's African-American? Listen, man. But tell him he's black, he'd probably kill himself. Just to be one less nigger around. <laughs> His commitment is that deep. Uh-oh. We don't like your kind around here. You better get out of here. That's right! Tell that nigger! We, we, that... we gotta go. Oh, thanks. <laughs> that dirty monkey was beating my hood! Bad <laughs> power! <laughs> Oh man, this is the best kid in the world. <laughs> Neighbors, Mike, play sick! Woogie Boogie! Woogie Boogie! Woogie Boogie! I think this might be the best thing I ever seen. <laughs> it's for time to show these people what white power is all about. Dude, you better put your hood on. America's at war with Al Qaeda! <laughs> but we're still losing the war against Al Sharpton. Let's talk about Chinese people with their kung fu. Go back to your country, white power. <laughs> white power. He was also critical. Kyle Langus Rice sounds like a Mexican dish. Maybe we should put her on a plate and send her to Mexico so the Mexicans will eat her. White power. Show us your face. We want to see your face. <laughs> 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 Damn, I don't know if I was supposed to indulge in that. He has accepted the fact that he is a black man. He filed for divorce <laughs> from his wife because she's an <laughs> lover. <laughs> that is hilarious, man. That's not good. I laughed that hard at that. Did that set, did that set us back, y'all? Man. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to make it through this whole season. Whew. Let's get it. That's the thing about being on TV, you just never can say what you want to say, man. The only way people will listen to stuff, I think, is if a pretty white girl sang my thoughts. I got a pretty white girl to sing his thoughts. Crack was invented and distributed to intentionally destroy the black community. I ain't saying that. was too. <gasps> OJ didn't do it. What y'all think in the comments? Yeah, he did. <laughs> oh, Jake, my bad. The juice. Gay sex is gross, unless, of course, they're lesbian. Okay. I, I like lesbian. Oh, I want to stick my thumb in J-Lo's butt. 
And Chappelle test the waters with the show, didn't he? I would like to stick my thumb up there, too. I wouldn't mind sticking a finger or two up that singing white girl's butt either. <laughs> so, Vina, what's the craziest thing you ever did sexually? I had a three-way with these two guys in college, and my sorority sisters were, like, cheering me. Yeah. <laughs> Thing I ever did sexually, they'd probably be having sex with old gangbang here without a rub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, watch what you say. Do you know what? I wonder what the craziest thing. Ask your spouses this question today and see what y'all get. That'd be crazy. Put in the comments and answers. Paid, I have devised a new scheme, ladies and gentlemen. Miss Cleo lies, she's phony. <laughs> it's got a nagging suspicion that. But that bitch ain't Jamaican. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I call Miss Cleo a lot, too. That's crazy. I, I always used to try. Check mine out. Dave Chappelle's educated guest line. My boyfriend says my butt's too big. Why would he say that? So your current boyfriend is white. Oh, my gosh, yes. It's your parents. They kicked you out for dating a black dude, didn't they? Oh, my God, there's no way you could have known that unless you knew me. Or if I dated four white girls myself. He's speaking from experience. <laughs> is, is your name Miguel? It is. Bam! All right, all right, here, <laughs> he racist. You drive a pickup truck, don't you, Miguel? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Pulled from a correctional facility. You black, ain't you? Yo, this is off the hook. Call this number now and let Dave or one of his educated guessers tell you your future. One of his educated guessers. <laughs> For years, we've all watched celebrities accepting awards get played off by the house orchestra when their speech runs on too long. I was like, Gina, number one, why are you calling me up trying to confuse me? You know Spellman's in Atlanta too. Second of all, you know I'm vacillating. Wrap it up. I need one of these boxes. <laughs> We can all use one of these for the wives. Click. We had a really good time. So that was college, how about you? Before I sentence you, I'd like to say a few words about your arrest record. What the hell? Wrap it up. You better wrap that gavel up, B. Night. You could wrap sex up too. I wouldn't want that box at this point. Oh my God. Wrap it up. Where do I find the box? Minding your task, and if you think that I'm talking about chewing these balls, then walk it off. It's Brooklyn. Mm. Man, they don't rap like that no more. They don't rap like that no more. Most definitely, you at Talib Kweli. Where y'all at? Now, I don't know if you guys know what Home with Drug Awareness Week is. That is a week of drug education for children in school. Tonight, we have a tape of just such an event. Please enjoy. Anybody ever had a crackhead come to their school or? I think we did. I don't. I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Tyrone, you could have cleaned the crack off of yourself. Very much, <laughs> this ain't cool. And a privilege for me to be here <laughs> at Pinehurst School. Drugs and alcohol have ruined my life. Can you say marijuana? Marijuana. marijuana. <laughs> I'll smoke. He got the kids shelling out marijuana. Then I upgraded <laughs> to a little drug called acid. Very inexpensive and affordable. Oh no, we can sneak into our mama's room when she's sleeping and take five, 10, maybe $20 out of the purse. American <laughs> fellow named Martinez, we know that. <laughs> How will I know when drugs is around? You might be asking. Who them magic markers? What you think this is? Some kind of cram? No, take that cap off and sniff it. <laughs> <laughs> How was he able to get away with this? <laughs> that children was the first time I sucked a <laughs> crack. But it wouldn't be the last. I read that story. Goodbye. Get this man up out of here, man. These kids gonna be traumatized. They gonna get older and be like, yeah, I was in class. I'm with Dave Chappelle <laughs> with the Tyrone guy talking about doing crack and acid. Matter of fact, let me try it. <laughs> Dude. That's how I start, Tyrone. That's for my brother, most Def. Full show. It's most Def what you call real full show. Be conscious. I'm just a wake dog. I'm doing great dog. Running up they waste for all here. Going all out, all live, all dang, bang, get boom, bang, dig it. Effortless. Effortless. Quick plan. They not rapping like that no more. They not spitting like that no more. They talking about a whole bunch of bull crap. Get your girl panties off, do drugs, this and that. They not doing that. 
That's how you rap. I, I, man, I don't know YouTube how much I'm going to be able to get on YouTube, but Patreon, that's how you rap. Okay, I am being told our napkin ring bonanza is over. It keeps incredible time. Uh, Ron, uh, we'll gotta... <laughs> go around your hand. <laughs> you know what, Jessica? I do. Uh -huh. I'll start the bidding at nine ninety five. <laughs> On a booger? Sold. <laughs> <laughs> In bed, huh? That was messed up. It's worse. Ooh, very hey, nice. Tabby. Oh. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like someone's having a herpes outbreak. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I don't know where they get them models ooh, from. Ooh. This is a beautiful bikini on Bonnie. <laughs> Whoa, okay, that ain't that, that ain't that bad, Dave. We got the jungle oh. down. <laughs> I mean, I like a little hair down there. I mean, that might be a little over excessive. Ain't nothing wrong with the bush. What would you do if you seen that? Like, you just, would you run? Most would be like, hey, <laughs> that's me for sure. Yeah, it ain't no, I don't know the next time I'm gonna get some. I gotta take it. <laughs> Proud to release this masterpiece on DVD for the. Oh, man, he be messing around. Dave, this ain't cool. Behold. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh we dropped the bag. <laughs> give me a real baby. <laughs> oh, to carry me home. Hey, what the hell are you in line for? I said your name is Toby. Kunta Kinte. <laughs> Not funny. Damn. Steve. <laughs> what I say about him so hard, man? I'm sorry. Are you all right? I'm sorry. <laughs> he got a shield on his back. <laughs> hey, Dave, this is not cool, bro. You can't have me messing around like this, bro. <laughs> right, let me get up there. Right. <laughs> let me get up here. <laughs> 25th anniversary commemorative. Can this be on YouTube? It might be blurred, or I'ma get canceled. Whew. Patreon, we watching the whole thing. Hey, this man is crazy. This is, uh, this is not my first show. I didn't Did know that. Know that? I asked that earlier. That's crazy. No. The thing that was wrong with that show was it was just irrelevant and not funny. You know one of them hidden camera shows? Mine was supposed to be hard and real. <laughs> That's how we like it. There's a new video prankster in town, and he goes by the name Dave Chappelle. <laughs> he got blood all over it. Uh, <laughs> doctor's job is hard. Your parents are dead. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Be good. Be good to each other. Hopefully, they don't split you up. Psych! I'm just kidding. Come on out, Mom. <laughs> that was harsh. <laughs> Y'all been zapped. Oh. Julie! What up, Playboy? <laughs> I've been sleeping with my secretary for the last three and a half years. <laughs> oh! You have been zapped. <laughs> this is when the heat got turned up. Hey, 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 hey. Stay, stay, stay school, Big Time. <laughs> hey, Big Time, what you looking in my face for? That's against the protocol of robbery. <laughs> oh! Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> you been zapped. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we just doing a show. Oh! <laughs> that nail! I'd watch that. Me. That fraud. <laughs> Don't be doing that on white networks as soon as a black network. And the number double you big. I like chicken. <laughs> Welcome back, nurse. <laughs> the What's with all the stretching? Oh, you know, all the old adage. <laughs> Don't worry, Sheila. I'm sure nobody notices. <laughs> oh, we notice. Yeah. Her presumes are like bouncing around and everything. <laughs> <laughs> go in. <laughs> Sheila, it's okay. An inconvenience. I wish I didn't have him. Careful what you wish for. Morgan Freeman? <laughs> and that's Frank, the human resources man at my office. What happened to my boo? Oh. That woman was a flat chested boar. Her <laughs> never respond to her. A the big search. In fact, tell that titless freak she's fired. <laughs> <laughs> I have a painting I need to hang up in my bedroom. Do you think you could help? You know what you need? A new set of titties and a boyfriend. <laughs> and oh, wait! I still have Big Boo! Where's Sheila? Wasn't she supposed to be a bridesmaid? Am I getting bridesmaids? Starting an itty bitty titty committee. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How could she do that? You gotta have titties to live in the world today. Shazay! <laughs> hey, where do I know that crazy guy 
front. Masturbating to you and those giant cans of yours was all he had to live for. And once he took that away, he lost his mind and blew up the world. Uh. The world's gonna end in about 10 seconds. Taught me a valuable lesson today. I'm never going to curse my fun bags again. <laughs> I'm proud of them. <laughs> angel. I ain't no angel. I'm a janitor. How did you show me all those places? Girl, I am high on PCP. <laughs> Smoke shine. That's it? Oh, these Chappelle shows going by way too quick. That was one skit. Come on, Chappelle. Oh, he had to zap in the roof. To win. They going by so quick, man. I'm laughing them away. Lord. Okay, let's get into the third episode. I mean, the fourth one. Dang, we already on the fourth episode? Y'all, I'm not going to lie. These are flying by. It is a, when you, Jay, what they say? You having fun, time flies. This man, Chappelle, is out of control, dude. How did he make it out of the first three episodes? Man, this, never, never, never would this have lasted today. I'm sorry. In today's culture, how sensitive people are today? Why did people get, hey, see, let me stop asking questions. I'm like, why did people get so sensitive all of a sudden? What happened? What's in the water? <laughs> Man, I'm glad that we, we're not canceled yet. <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm serious. I don't know if anybody has seen me on Donahue recently. Halfway through the show, I just gave up. I have a tape. I'll show you some of it. You talk, white people talk amongst each other. When white they see a black talk. person in a job in a company, he is an affirmative action hire. As you can see, though, from the tape, I really didn't have nothing to say. <laughs> uh, affirmative action forces somebody. You're, you're forcing people. I'm only pushed so far, and then I push back. Forced. Remember that thing where you forced us to work? What do you think? Black people was like, no problem, boss. I'd love to. I'll go pick the Man, cotton. That was I want my reparations for slavery. See, don't get mad. I'm clapping y'all. That's right. I'm reparations wouldn't be bad. Paid <laughs> the work of my folks. <laughs> this is a consumer-based economy. You can't just give black people all this money and turn them loose. Good afternoon. I'm Chuck Taylor. White Frank face. Dobson died last night in his sleep. We're standing here in front of the Olympic liquor store in Queens. <laughs> 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 Damn, the reparations got him acting crazy. I'm rich, bitch. I'm a dope. That's where that came from. Day. Well, Chuck, that's because that's a mean black people, but I think that's about to change. Well, these checks aren't just affecting things on Beach Street. Market, these people are spending money like hotcakes. Two million delinquent phone bills have been paid just this <laughs> year. Delinquent phone Four bills. Is eight thousand record labels have been started in the last hour <laughs> folks i am happy to report that the recession is now officially over and we have nobody to thank but all these black people with their taste for expensive clothes fancy cars and of course gaudy jewelry oh my goodness this is kind of cringing <laughs> i can't believe my ears the news just keeps rolling in fubu is now the world's largest corporation after merging with kentucky fried chicken <laughs> Golly, man, that is, that's wild. That's wild to see. The crime rate has fallen to 0%. Did the Mexicans get money today, too? <laughs> <laughs> man, Dave was ahead of his time. That's all that matter now. Lord. Bling, bling, and go clothes, and Gucci, and Prada, all that crap. A secret 1986 document from a major tobacco company contains the following pattern. Rises in short-term memory, it can have a calming effect on nerves. <laughs> They're not bad after unprotected sex with multiple partners either. Come on, dog. Look how cool. <laughs> you know what I like about ladies the most? Their titties. I'm sorry to say it. Because I, for myself, have put my mind to it and devised a way that I can compliment women on their breasts and they will not get angry. Standing in New York City, boob capital of North America. They do look me. like Nardwar. Pardon me, miss. Oh, oh, them New York knockers. You have great New York boobs. You have great New York boobs. Are we talking C-cup? 
He had great New York boots. I don't know how Joe was able to stand there and not laugh at that. Rogan was just out there with the box like, dude. <laughs> Fortune magazine released their annual list of the 100 wealthiest people today, and Bill Gates has been overtaken. By whom, you ask? A Harlem resident named simply <laughs> Trump. So how did you become Reparations a Reparations got him richer than Bill Gates? Kiss my black ass, yeah. America. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think what everyone wants to know now is what are you going to do with all this money? I'm going to reinvest my money into the community. Oh, that's a very nice gesture. What were you saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I just bought this baby cash. No, straight up, though, I'm going to do the real thing. Spend it. Chuck, we're going to send it back to you in the studio now. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but I just handed in my resignation here at New Center three hours ago. This is not my real speaking voice. Actually, Chuck. <laughs> my God, Miguel, it's disgusting. Kiss the rings, bitch. Everybody in this room, I'd like to thank you for coming to my show. That's Everybody it. at home, I hope you're at home. How the hell the episode's over so quick? The episode's got to be like six minutes or something in total. Like, this is crazy. They going by fast. Or maybe I'm just enjoying them. Um, dude, his comedy is Ah man. See, and then I'm t I'm scared to say certain stuff, you know, that I want to say right now because of how things change. Let me just shut. I'm going next episode. Next episode. Damn. This is crazy, y'all. Why can't we next episode? Welcome back to Chappelle Show. I can't believe I'm still on the air. This is incredible. And I've been having fun since the show came out. Did, did y'all know that Jay Z has a vodka out now? You're not gonna believe some of the commercials these guys got. Girl, I got something that'll keep your flow motherfucking tizzy. <laughs> <laughs> Rock a pass. Rock a pass. Rock a pass. You feeling fresh now? Mm, for shizzle my bizzle. She ready to rock out. I better not ever see that commercial on TV. I'll be so upset. It's real shitty down here. Oh, it's Red Man. Red Man jet skiing and do the water. <laughs> Spray it in the toilet and the enzymes and collaborate together, make some kind of mixture. You need something? Why not call on your man? Holla. Hey, Red Man toilet freshener. <laughs> I'll get the brown out. <laughs> Flush a red man down the toilet on a jet ski with a bad bitch. Wow, with enzymes and all that shit to get the, the doo doo out. You guys watch those old NFL films. They inspire me. Right now I present great moments in hookup history. Man, I, I need to pull out a win and I needed it then. Ashley Evans, affectionately known to us as Smashley Evans. <laughs> Can anybody take this drunk, horny, crazy woman home? Yeah. Moment. Johnson sprung into action. Oh, <laughs> Johnson was crushed. Champion. Get up, Johnson. Martin let's go. Johnson had it in spades. Oh my God. Johnson <laughs> employed a trick play. Young Ashley didn't even own a scarf, but was too drunk to realize it. An opportunity and quick thinking meet. The way they did that fateful night. You're not only an American Idol. I'm about the Arif. Hello, I know. I'm about the well, I want to promote conversation and dialogue, so I went on the streets and gave people the opportunity to ask all the questions, and I got comedian Paul Mooney. It's time for Ask a Black Dude. <laughs> Ask a Black Dude. This could be genius. With Paul Mooney at that. <laughs> can black guys jump high? Yeah, black people can jump high. You got to jump. You got to do something when you're running from the police. <laughs> You, why walk like this, huh? All you, almost all you black guy. Why? We got rhythm. I mean, the black man in America is the most copied man on this planet. Everybody want to be a nigga, but nobody want to be a nigga. Yeah, why we black people like to smoke so much weed? Well, where are your teeth? Now? <laughs> black people just like to party, and sometimes they can go overboard, and it's real sad. Oh. And don't ask me about I'm drugs. Ask me and Bobby. Don't ask me. No, <laughs> no more weed. I ain't going overboard. It's just a joint. Paul Mooney is raw. He's a racial teeth. <laughs> I think that was his goal was to get canceled. He wanted to push the limits. Nobody does this no more. He wanted to push the limits to see how far he can get away. Get a, you know, see how much he can get away with. You've done over 74 films. We'll cover what time allows. Here it is. Thank your you. breathtaking oh. 
Oscar nominated performance. Oscar nominated. Ah! Who that the police? Tell him I got shot by some Chinese gangsters. <laughs> you might as well just shoot yourself in the stomach and come lay down with me. They gonna see you. You report to heaven at 0800 hours, and that's an order, soldier. That's some push before I go. Ah! Okay. <laughs> My lady, don't run from no. me. The last maiden that accused me of lying, I stuck my foot betwixt her buttocks. So, my lady, I invite thee to come and watch me unsheath me. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. He came in. Seems as though the boot are. The physically challenged. When Daniel Day Lewis saw your performance in Littlefoot Longfoot, he threw up <laughs> Littlefoot Longfoot. in the movie. <laughs> Long Three floor. Sam, oh! Still! Oh! Get up, little foot, long, big, foot, little foot, big foot. People, shut your damn mouth, you pothead! <laughs> they have double cheeseburger. <laughs> ah! When they showed the little foot, long foot, or whatever, that took me out. That was funny, man. <laughs> and Dave Chappelle's creative. He's a real creative. Dude, Dave Chappelle. Is a, he might be a genius, low-key. As I'm watching these like this in order from the pilot, I haven't seen any of those in that one. In the first uh, few episodes, I've seen those clips. Excuse me. On my other channel, Mr. Video. So I've seen some clips. But as I get in these later episodes, I haven't seen any of these. It's, this stuff is hilarious, man. How he putting it together is just skit. They do skits. Skits are, you know, you can think about it, shorts. They call them shorts now. Those things are taking over. People who create them. So he took a way for you to bring the short method to a show method. That's genius. That's genius. Let's get into the next episode now. I used to love these commercials. Dave Chappelle tapping into <laughs> National Geographic's Third World Girls Gone Wild. No collection of. I don't remember seeing that one. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to get canceled out the gate. Third World Girls Gone Wild. 3WGGG or GGW. So I bring to you now, Dave Chappelle, <laughs> written by Dave Chappelle. Oh my goodness, this can be good. <laughs> push, Mr. Chappelle. I want you to push, Dave Chappelle. <laughs> oh, oh! <laughs> that is one funny ass kid. Waka waka. <laughs> Dave Chappelle. What? <laughs> That thing and knock somebody eye smooth out. Great having sex in the shower, Halle Berry. You drained my monster's ball. Monster ball was great. Thornton was tearing Halle Berry up. Oh my goodness. Your huge heart, generosity, and courage have saved America. I heard you have a 16 inch penis. <laughs> 18. <laughs> well, who's counting? <laughs> Look, we're going to take a quick commercial break and we'll be right back with more. Chappelle Show. Mario Cantone and Ask the Gay Dude. Dave Chappelle did it all, didn't he? I don't think Ask the Gay Dude would be good today. No, when a gay guy is performing oral sex, is it better than a female? That's, that why would you want to? Do I know? Next question. <laughs> <laughs> what is the rainbow about? What is the rainbow about? I'll put a band-aid over your left cheek and make you my Nelly. Oh, oh man. Do you want this? You can't have this, but if you want, I want to know, do you want this? I'll pass. <laughs> but the thing that makes me like mad about, not mad, but I just don't like this about the real world, every few years, they always put a black guy on there. They would not like that if we made a show where we put one white guy around six of the craziest black people we could find. I first entered the house, um, that was a little surprise to meet the other roommates. I bet. Uh, <laughs> cutting hair up in here, smoking weed. I don't really hang out with too many black people. Chad. Well, look at here, Chad. For the entire period, you in my room. Night, night. Keep your butt hole tight. <laughs> <laughs> the 
tear Chad's booty hole apart. The square root of his apartment. <laughs> <laughs> they gave us a job running the juice bar. All right, enjoy. Oh, yeah. They didn't have much respect for the job. Look at me, America. Look how Tron is living. <laughs> it's not safe to have her in this house with these black dudes. Mandingo. Come on, Katie, let's go. No, nah, nah, son. I'm gonna stay here. Lace on. What? You know how we living out here, you know what I mean? Yo, did you hold it down? Trying about to kill this man. <laughs> they robbing him. <laughs> Classic. Be careful if you get a sleeper hold because the next day your anus will really hurt. <laughs> it, uh, when my dad came by, I was a little bit concerned. Like that. Sandra, I apologize. I don't know how I'm looking at you. Like that. Like what? Why you gotta be looking at me, white man? <gasps> Charlie shanked him. <laughs> Can't you be quiet for one night? It's 1.30 in the morning and I have to get up early to go to work. You people, what the hell you mean, you people? <laughs> he losing it. But worst come to worst, we reserve the right to fuck you up. I had sex with Katie too, my <laughs> Katie, I feel left out. Call me. I didn't even think about his feelings. This is messed up. <laughs> Take me there. Oh, that's so bad. Babu dee, babu dee. Babu dee, babu dee. Sweetie. That boy said, be babu doo, babu. What? He was speaking in baby language in the beginning. The baby's going to get that. <laughs> they going to be like, oh, he jamming, mama. You don't know what he said. No, honey, he died. All I hear is be bobble do bobble be. That's your language. <laughs> Dog, we have to sit half the way through season one. Six episodes deep in your guts. Six mo. How about that? Let's load up, man. I, I'm gonna laugh myself to death watching Dave Chappelle do this hilarious. Guys, I was out last night. You know the mad dash at the end of the night when guys are really scrambling to get some booty? It's like a game and the shot clock is running out. That's me. And I salute you. And I salute all who have had a great moment in hookup history. Thank you, my brother. I had one or two. I had maybe one or two. Thank you. I never got recognition for that. Just the sort of standoff that creates classic <laughs> hookup moments. Bobby struck quickly. You give me Pac-Man fever. With the defense returning and time running out, the defense Bobby returning. went into his hurry-up offense. <laughs> no huddle. Hutchinson went for the game-winning score. Got him drunk enough. Why don't you just come home with me? His attempt was blocked. <laughs> but Hutchinson recovered the block. Bobby and Gina had drunken sex on top of her two passed out friends. Technically making it a four-way. <laughs> Technically Bobby making Hutchinson. it a four-way. I mean to go. He had a four-way, guys. See what liquor can do. For a segment that I like to call real movies. <laughs> This guy looks like he about to screw something up. Hello? <laughs> Hello, yo. Shoot. This gonna make me wanna watch The Matrix. When I tell you, go to the end of the hall. <laughs> uh, farted. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> be real light, you'd be nervous. You'd be farting. There's a black man sitting at a desk directly to your right. Oh no! I'm just playing, I'm just playing. Psych! <laughs> it's Earl, nigga. I need your staple. You totally got me. <laughs> well. <laughs> Quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Uh, all these hip hop cats, man. These rappers got their hands in everything. They definitely do. And I caught this commercial. I don't know if y'all seen it, but this bugged me out. Nowadays, we all know that cash rules everything around us. It's time to enter the 36th chamber. Wu-Tang in this thing. Financial. 
You gotta know how to jack this. You gotta play this game rough, you know what I mean? In, out, get, grab, bong. You need to diversify your bonds, nigga. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you It's a place for you and your kids. The old dirty bastard couldn't make it today. It's in his regards. Do 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 Because at the end of the day, Wu Tang Clan ain't nothing but. He slapped his wife. Wu Tang Clan ain't nothing. Wu Tang Financial. Anybody going to that bank? Who could forget the timeless classic, Pretty Woman? I've never seen Pretty Woman, y'all. Real version of Pretty Woman. I worked at a couple of fast food places, wrestling. The Neo's in it again? She was a hooker and made it sound so great. <laughs> you gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> We're gonna you take gotta a go. commercial break. Dave Chappelle debunking movies or something I didn't know I needed to see. For Ask a Black Dude with none other than comedian Paul Moon. <laughs> what do you gotta say today? In the movies, uh, is the black guy the first guy killed? Hey! The big black runaway. He was throughout the whole movie. He only got killed at the end. I hated everybody that wrote that movie. <laughs> Black people are always worried about, like, barbershop. They better be worried about what they say in white films. White films go all over the world. Because I remember The Godfather, and I, I won't forget the f when they had the drug scene, and they said, well, we don't do that. Sell it to the guys. They should have had something to say about that. Damn, ball, you in deep. Yeah, that camera's still on. Black people want to go to black dentists, and the black people want to get buried by black undertaker. Bro, what? He almost said nigga. I read it. <laughs> Please. They can fix the teeth? Cool. They can't? That's cool, too. It was a, a script for Stephen King. I have a Stephen King horror movie. With a brain. We'll see how that's scared people. Mm. It's in school. How about that, Stephen? Hey, Paul Mooney, man. This next piece is a special report on some bad sex. Anybody ever had bad sex out there you want to put in the comments? Catholic priest R. Kelly Bay. Oh! I'm Chuck Taylor. Tonight's top story, <laughs> outrage throughout the community is yet another sex scandal involving boys and men of authority. Jedi knights in a galaxy far, far away. Allegations that the Jedi masters they studied under repeatedly s***ly molested them over a number of years. And no. the Jedi Council knew about it all along. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Obi- Nah, bro! Yoda, isn't it true you knew of these abuses in 1977? Tired Yoda is. Tired Yoda is. Resign, he will. He kinda sound like Yoda a tad. How do you explain the recently uncovered tape that seems to implicate you in a cover-up of Jedi boy touching? Oh! Who was it? Mickey Rooney, maybe? <laughs> He used the force and got out of there. Fancy parade. Oh, how about it? Tell me. <laughs> Get down, do you? Yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> you party? Yoda passing out coke. Party it makes me. <laughs> I never thought I'd see Yoda this way after seeing Star Wars. We go live. Do you feel that the Jedi's who committed these kind of crimes deserve to die? They deserve to die, and I hope they burn in hell. <laughs> My master said, Darth Mater the force was strong in me. He made me wear a blindfold and reach into his pants to look for the force. <laughs> I can't even make comments or jokes on this, y'all. I don't want to say nothing wrong. Could you show me on the doll where he touched you? <laughs> Traumatizing him. <laughs> we cut tape. Let's cut it. I was just young and curious. <laughs> this never would have happened in the world of Star Trek. <laughs> Gay droid marriage. Should it be legalized? This queer couple says yes. Gay droid marriage? <laughs> hey, dude, Dave Chappelle did not play on this show. This whole segment would have got canceled today. Oh man, it's gonna be hard to uh, edit for YouTube. Oh, he just did. I know what he just did. I'm going to cut it early. He, I know what he usually say. He just say peace out at the end. That man just, <laughs> man. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't know how to touch on it. Who touch? See, that's a, that's a touchy word. What he was just talking about, touch. I, mean, I don't I don't know how to speak on it. I should say, let me switch it. The Darth Vader got 
you know, <laughs> Luke Skywalker. Obi-Wan was, these allegations, these are allegations. Obi-Wan was fondling, <laughs> man, we go on to that. I got to step over this. Yoda was doing what with men? <laughs> doing blow. Good blow. Good blow, is it? It make, it make me horny. Get undercover with me. <laughs> <laughs> Yoda about to take somebody out. Oh, my. Dave Chappelle. I, okay, so technically, did Dave Chappelle's show get canceled? I don't know, y'all. I didn't really watch the show like that. I wasn't, you know, so everybody didn't watch the Chappelle show. Did he get canceled? <laughs> How you make it past this? Well, I guess it's not today. It's not today. Y'all y'all know what I'm talking about. Today? This, that, that last segment with Star Wars and Yoda and them? On TV? Gay, gay jewelry marriage. <laughs> Man, I'm out. I got the next episode, dude. Let me see. I'm touching on it. Way touching on it. Now, a lot of us go to the movies, and they seem a little fake. Police. He's still banging the Crocodile movies. Crocodile Dundee, for example. Remember when the brother come up and give me your money, Crocodile Dundee? It's not a knife. <laughs> this is a knife. <laughs> There's those movies are phony baloney. So tonight I bring to you the real version. That's crazy. I just watched Ghost like a week ago, guys. Glad I seen it before it, I watched this. Wow. <laughs> well, they look better on you than they ever did on him. Uh, Why don't you take him off? <laughs> he walked through him. <laughs> you ready to step into the jungle? Oh, Nick, you know I see you. <laughs> How does it make you feel? <laughs> I was about to say he gonna kill himself. It's too late. Let's take a look at the uh, real version of a little movie called Half Bake. Why don't I break into the lab while I'm working? They got weed there. I'll steal it. We can sell it, and we'll make us bake. <laughs> Y'all wanna smoke some weed? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll be in his butt in jail. <laughs> Let's smoke some weed. Screw him. Leave him in jail. Year was 1955, and Danny Corey had never had sex. He bought butter. <laughs> He arranges it on his lap, smiles at her. Brilliant. Just oh, I never brilliant. pulled this move. He's a classic. He's a classic. And has set a new standard for reckless and desperate men everywhere. That's how I got this. I was going to, I didn't want to ask. To thank. Great moments oh. in history. Yep. The movie date tonight. We'll be right back with more. Gotta find someone. Anybody want to go to the movies with me tonight? <laughs> I really honestly never did that. That is crazy. That's kind of genius. Frontline embarked on a journey to answer these questions, and what we uncovered may shock you. I swear he should be doing this for a living. His acts of heroism and undying loyalty to his master were his trademark. I saw the dog. I said, where do I know this dog from? Uh, 1957 right in front of Woolworth. <laughs> That's not funny. That's not funny. Are he messing with civil rights footage? <laughs> he cold. Turned at a canine dental expert oh my. with his scar. In subsequent weeks, more African Americans came forward with similar accusations against iconic animals. Oh, I better get out of here. Took you long enough, nigger. <laughs> Dad! I had money on you to win a race. <laughs> Hey, that's crazy. Dear Frontline, this is this Mr. Is Ed. Mr. But Ed. worse than Mr. Ed. Worse even what? than Rin Tin Tin. Flip him. But I know him as Jane, the nigga hating dog. That's what he can call him. I knew I didn't like Miami for a reason. <laughs> we deeply regret the way Mr. Ed was taken advantage of by the clan. It's any consolation, his best friend was the Black Stallion. <laughs> Next time on Meg the Stallion, Puerto Ricans are lazy, Michael. What men want? Man, if I could just slide a finger down the crack of that ass. <coughs> oh, I wish my boys could see this. Look at I wish my boys could see this. Dude, you're giving up coals. He can't be giving up our thoughts. 
<laughs> oh no! I'll put a hurting on that bitch. <laughs> We're gonna take a quick commercial break. He done gave up all of our thoughts. You can't do that, bro. You opened up a vault. That's why they thought. The world can't be knowing that. Now I'm gonna be in the elevator. I gotta look away from the girl. In three, two, one. Is this a five o'clock free crack giveaway? <laughs> <laughs> He's Tyrone. No. What time is it? It's five o'clock. Did I miss a five o'clock free crack giveaway? No, no. <laughs> I'm what is known as an intervention counselor. Oh! Yeah, and oh! Where the crack at? What are you talking about, man? I don't do drugs. This is ridiculous. What is going on in here? We get crack at the end? We get crack at <laughs> <laughs> Stay to the end to find out. No, I love you, but I feel like drugs is hurting you. Can't cop! I don't know what is high room. Look, the police found you three hours later in my car asleep. High on crack. That's impossible, Rhonda. How can you sleep if you're high on crack? <laughs> he got you. He got you. I remember the whole speech. I'm cleaning up my act. <laughs> oh. We're off to my mother's. We'll be back Sunday evening. Ah, I can't say stuff. I was like, you can't leave a crackhead around nothing. That, that sounds crazy. Sold our house and kept the money. 450000 He sold the house. <laughs> money, Tyrone. He spent it. On a party. You didn't get your invitation for that party. Do you know how many people on your route complain of receiving open mail? 136, Tyrone. We open and everybody mail before you deliver it. it. Might contain anthrax. For your information, that's a little white powder. Snorting anthrax, anthrax. Babe? I got that anthrax and it's the bomb, baby. 60 bucks. Let he who is without sin throw it the first rock. And I shout smoke if it. The remix. Oh! <laughs> Ain't no way. Drugs <laughs> ruined my life! It's censoring me. Of these last few episodes, I really couldn't say what I wanted to say. Because I know I want to put it on YouTube, and if I say something crazy, you even get to talk a political or anything slick. YouTube computer picks it up, clink, clink, take the video down. This guy's talking about this and that. We don't want that pushed. I'm keeping it real. This is how YouTube works. On Patreon, I see, on Patreon, I can say whatever, but I, I can't. I got to figure out how to, to differentiate the two. Uh, this man is playing on <laughs> Dave Chappelle was trying to get canceled. He was like, come on, hurry up and cancel me, y'all. Y'all see what I'm doing. I'm uncancelable. Crazy, crazy stuff. Um, <laughs> and, you know what? Let's get into the next, let's get the next episode. My goodness, Dave Chappelle shirt choice is outrageous. I just want points, man. My whole life's like Vice City, man. Look. He NPC. <laughs> Sorry, I need. This. What do you do? <laughs> Put the cheat code in. <laughs> Toyola. Blackzilla. Blackzilla. He burning it up already. Most are smoking the trees. Yeah. <laughs> Chronic. Blackzilla, instead of breathing fire, he breathed weed smoke. Yeah, some for oh yo. Our Kelly Zilla. He pull his pants down. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like an uncircumcised. Let me shut up. Pulling nothing out. <laughs> what the? I call you sometime. We'll come <laughs> hey, go get a Plan B for the volcano. <laughs> this dude just had sex with a volcano. I never in my life thought I'd see something like that. 
I was in negotiations with Comedy Central to do a one-hour special. They did come up with enough money for me to do a two-minute special. You gonna shoot it live? Oh, here to go. It's a lot of people backstage at the Chappelle show. They don't want to give me my money. I'm asking folks. <laughs> this is what I'm gonna do. I gotta get right into it. I don't have a lot of time now. <laughs> I want to talk about the war. Thank you very much. Good night. <laughs> the best special ever. <laughs> Look at all the people he had for the two minutes special. <laughs> About pimps, oh, hoes, player, players, John's, John's tricks, tricks mark, mark the player haters ball. I hate on a nigga till he's totally broke and ain't got nothing like me. You know what I'm saying? Cause uh, that's messed up. <laughs> I'm top player hater from Korea. You bitches better recognize. <laughs> a player haters ball gives us an opportunity to hate on a diverse array: hoes, heifers, hee haws, and hula hoops. <laughs> Santa Claus too. Why don't you click your heels together three times and go back to Africa? <laughs> Thank you, Miss Henry. Good Lord oh, Almighty, oh, so shall have been led. That mother can pump my gas in my car on the way over here. That's ironic. It's Boy George. Now that boy right George. There, I hate the Amen. Oh man, hey, 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 hey. Buff Nasty is nominated for getting his best friend's wife pregnant, then tricking his best friend into raising the little. That's crazy. That's hateful. Yeah, that's wild. The next <laughs> They're getting awards for being haters. This is different. Excuse me, I'm gonna go home and put some water in Buck Nasty's mama's dish. That was crazy. Hey, Chappelle be getting over. He said, and he tell you, I right, wait right there, tune in. It's more of the Chappelle show. Then they cut to commercials. They get the ad revenue. And then as soon as the Chappelle show come back on, all right, y'all, I'm out. <laughs> Chappelle. That's the way to get Comedy Central paid. Dude, how much money does Chappelle make off of this show, man? This is like a brilliant idea. And I feel like he should have banked up. We... <laughs> I don't know. I'm not going into all the politics. I'm not here for that. I'm just here to watch it. So, let's go into the next episode. 40 ounces of more liquor make me want to taste something. Close your eyes, show me your face. I'm going to piss on it. <laughs> piss on you, I pee on you. Your body is a water party. Yeah. <laughs> I pee got kicked. Pretty catchy. <laughs> yes, I do. Anybody into golden showers? Y'all know I like to ask questions over here. Anybody into golden showers? Drop it in the comments. Okay, these doodoo brothers. <laughs> For that to be a skit, that song is pretty catchy, man. <laughs> are all their dicks really big, or are some small, some big? Brothers are packing. They seem to be packing. <laughs> Once you go black, you don't come back. You don't. You go white, you go running back to black, ain't that the way it goes? <laughs> black guys shave their heads. I mean, it just seems that they have great hair, and I could never figure out why so many of them shave their heads. White folks wear bald heads, too. You know that they don't have nothing. <laughs> the Americans, they took that, they take everything. Michael Jackson, they took James Brown. They gave him back. They gave him back! <laughs> I get to talking some mess on your show. They'll take your show. They'll fix you, too. Paul Mooney, his comments are crazy. I, I'm not gonna get political, y'all. Paul get... Mooney is something. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna give you some poo poo. I'm gonna give you some pee pee wee wee. <laughs> this is the remix of this your pee and leaking, reeking, and there's juice in the kitchen. <laughs> that pee and leaking, reeking, and this. He went in the studio and said this stuff. I know the engineer was having a blast with that. Welcome to the world's greatest war, to a classic war that took place right here <laughs> on Chicago's South Side. A violent war has been waged between two bitter enemies. The war began in 1982 over a pair of basketball shoes, Nikes. <laughs> oh, those are special. Hey, minor contact with his shoes. Hey, hey, no, hey. <laughs> over a Nike shoe, y'all. We that obsessed with brands? 
We hurt each other over him? Hey. Some work ass trick just stepped on my sneakers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all over me. Wasting no time, the crew commenced stomping on people's sneakers. Cornrow Wallace pulled out a gun. <laughs> Police showed up promptly four hours later. His roommate in jail was a man named Tyrone Bigum. All you need is some cocaine and some baking soda. I think I tasted egg and cinnamon. <laughs> the salt and pepper too. To cook up cocaine. Yeah. Cornrow can't. This not good. Cornrow, you focused on the wrong stuff. We <laughs> spelled that right. Started cooking stuff. <laughs> 19th Street gangsters sustained a massive loss at the Battle of the Cool Modi concert. <laughs> Veer General Cornrow Wallace was shot dead. Oh. <laughs> he with the doves now. Cornrow with the dove. The crew went to the graveyard and dug up General Cornrow Wallace's body. Was videotaped. <laughs> oh. Dude on the couch. Members of the 19th Street gangsters. <laughs> Get a shoe. Look at them pretty shoes. <laughs> Criminals of 2024, indicting themselves on YouTube and Facebook. That's how it's going down, for real, man. Dave Chappelle's ahead of his time. Was it all worth it? Yeah, it was a tragedy. Can you repeat the question? <laughs> good night. Dude, he found some, he always find good speakers, wherever you get them from. But, man, his comedy is so dark, you know. These gang wars are real. I'm just keeping 100. To see it in that perspective is different, you know? Ah, Dave Chappelle's ahead of his time, man. Or he's seen something coming. He too smart. Today we're gonna do Deep Impact. I'd like to take a moment out of the day to uh, address the allegations that this is somehow my fault. Black president's fault. If you knew just one of the things I was sworn to secrecy to, you would buckle under the goddamn pressure. I have here in my hand the cure for AIDS. Aww. Oh. Have a great weekend. He, he pocketed that. America, I'd like you to meet my good friend Paula. And here's Paula again. And here's Paula one more time. Cure for AIDS. Sorry about last night. Oh. <clears throat> Oswald killed Kennedy. That's right. Lee Harvey Oswald Harvey. killed John F. Kennedy. Bibble, come on up here. Oh my God. Bibble, <laughs> you got an alien up there? Over the last few decades, cell phones, pages, PlayStation 1 and 2, but anyone in the know knows that it was Bibble for shizzle and all about Bibble, because only Bibble <laughs> can keep it so real. Good looking, Bibble. The GTA 6 coming out. <laughs> Goodbye, America. I hope you all die in a fiery death when the meteor hits next Tuesday. Imagine seeing that on the news. Man, Dave Chappelle just be throwing information. For any conspiracy theory people out there, they'll be like, oh, they'll have the ball with this stuff. Dave Chappelle... <laughs> These episodes, man, like they got me scared to say stuff. Dave, what's up? Dude, talking about. I'm see, I'm gonna ask you guys your belief. That's my way of getting around saying stuff, and everybody be like, "This guy." Y'all know everybody. Every it's a conspiracy. I like to say is opinionated. It's a kind of theory. It's it's all theory, you know. I mean, I don't know. See, I, I'm actually getting into it on another channel, but that's just me. I ain't shouted out or nothing. I'm just doing it by myself. I didn't tell you guys. Y'all probably don't know what it's called. But diving into it. This dude. Anybody think aliens are here? I'm going to just ask these questions to y'all. Anybody think Bilbo is here for real? And that's how we got all this technology. Good looking, Bilbo. Changed my life, man. I'm back. Cloning. Anybody believe in cloning? He cloned three white women. Like, we need this technology to the public. We gotta go to the next episode. This man was. Cancel me. Cancel me. I'm talking about everything. I'm giving up all your secrets. Y'all better hurry up and cancel me. Gosh, Dave.
Yeah, it's going down. You know how I get down. Funk Master Flex. I man, fist the cup rules the street. Fist the cups? Dave Chappelle had connections in Hollywood. Rainium, you heard? We popping bottles, stabbing people, killing people. I right, have goes. You ready to rock it? Yeah, we waiting on you. Uh, where's my slam? Four, three, one, two. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest track never completed. Y'all ready? Oh, nigga, you got to be that. <laughs> we don't want to hear it no more, dude. Uh, pop up that bass from the... What happened? <laughs> Put some travel in it, that's my word. We drinking more, we banging right. chicks with no hey, rubbers hey. and all that. What? Go get the biggest album of the year, baby. $30 for that? This <laughs> man didn't say nothing. Turn the trouble up. I can't hear. <laughs> Dave, take it easy, man. He playing with the sick children. Done this before. Oh. Oh. Three for me! <laughs> Alright, think it's my first time. I got PlayStation. I'm rich. I'm rich! I don't feel good. Could you call the nurse for me? Nurse? Could you come in here please quickly? He is getting his ass whooped on street. Silly. <laughs> nurse! <laughs> Billy back. Hey, grab your sticks. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Look, Billy. <laughs> they play the music I'm on sorry, cue. Man. You can beat cancer, but if you want to beat it, you gotta be tough. Really? Hell no. You play like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Feel better. <laughs> Feel better. <laughs> Dave Chappelle don't care what he do. He is. Oh, that kid Ooh. is fine. Come on, he's acting. Oh, wow. <laughs> Good afternoon, young man. Can I help you? It has special powers. It will show you things some would pay not to see. You can't come outside, because if it don't work, I'ma be out there and whoop your monkey. <laughs> My ass. Well, I will go around with that camera everywhere. I couldn't have that camera. I'll be irresponsible. Not gonna lie. What up, Carson Dale? What up, Dave? <laughs> hey, <bro>. oh! <laughs> Man, I look like that 7-Up guy. So, what's your name, big man? Uh, Dave Chappelle. I'm here for Anne's birthday party. And I have loved you from the moment that I met you. And one, and two, and one. I'm gonna point it at itself. That would have been the first thing I did. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Yo! Would you like some more pickles? Man, I was with you. Champion Dave Chappelle receives three and a quarter stars. Remember that, Ed McMahon? <laughs> That's all to go on in Tyrone's head. <laughs> when the baby was born, I promised Karen I quit smoking. Oh, dweeb. He put the bong out. The first <laughs> brand of marijuana with no THC. Bro, put that down. He took a full rip. Shot. Oh, he shot him like the it. baby. <laughs> it's all dweeds, man. <laughs> Can I hit that? Cop said, let me get a drag. Tastes like the chronic, and yet it's not. <laughs> From the makers of the crack patch. <laughs> the makers of the crack patch. Oh, Tyrone got a crack patch. Go ahead, show him some of the and one. I used to love and one. I always wonder why these guys weren't in the NBA. Now the NBA doing all this stuff. The new N1 mixtape kills it because it does all sports, not just basketball, and it's off the hook. And one baseball. <laughs> yeah, you ain't seen oh. that. Where you see him hit? Where you see him hit? Where you see him hit? Ah. Uh. <laughs> I wouldn't pay to see this. Dude, Dave Chappelle thinking anything can just bring it to life. You don't waste no time. <laughs> and one ball. Oh, he bounced the bowling ball. <laughs> This most deaf, pretty flocko, black dawn, say the yeah. boogeyman. Two, now them two goats. Twilib, Kwali, and most deaf? Fire spitters. Shout out my favorite basketball player, because I felt like him. You ever do that? 
<laughs> Jordan, do that. Kobe. We can do that in our everyday lives, and I'll show you how. Point is, Stevenson, you're gonna have to show a little more effort around here. Spreewell. <laughs> Will Chamberlain. <laughs> That's Will for show. Sure. Oh. Dennis Rodman. <laughs> OJ. <laughs> Actually said that my show was uh, sub sophomoric and immature. When you're climbing up the ladder and you feel something splatter, diarrhea, 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 diarrhea. That's what. They sound good singing about diarrhea. Anybody got diarrhea right now? Put it in the comments. Doodle sliding out your booty hole. How does he think of this stuff? Diarrhea. <laughs> And welcome to Trading Spouses. We're going interracial. Oh, Daddy's going to wait for a little while, all right? Would you like to call me Daddy? Hmm? Is it okay if I call you Mr. D's? <sighs> Mr. D's? D's nuts! <laughs> Can I call you Daddy? Hell no. Only your mama calls me Daddy. Hmm, I'll tell Why don't I make some grits? <laughs> <laughs> um, this here is cauliflower. This is corned beef hash. And these are parsnip. What the is a parsnip? You want me to light your cigarette for you, too? Let me check your tone, girl. Get your inside voice on. So I'll put your ass outside. It's a change up in the house. Black guy's here. You're in big trouble, mister. What, you gonna hit me or something? Time out! <laughs> Time out is sweet. T Mart. How old is T Mart? <laughs> he getting it in at an early age. Say hello to your people for me. He didn't drop little man off in the hood. In the bedroom. The hell is that? Uh, I'm sorry, baby. I don't go south of the border. It's just one thing that Leonard Washington don't do. I never forgive you for this. Go on, get in the car. Warm it up. Leonard ain't never light his cigarette. And I am missing some of my draws. Oh, oh. Titty residue. <laughs> Titty rather do what? God bless the world because we're in trouble. I'm out. I'll see you next year, guys. God bless the world because we're in trouble. This was years and years ago. <laughs> um, Dave Chappelle, man. I'm trying to laugh. I can't hear the laughs, man. I didn't come here to be hit with, you know, truth, theories, whatever you want to put it, you know, however you want to put it. Golly, he's smacking us in the face with these things, too. <laughs> that song from Twilight Kweli and them, uh, YouTube, y'all might not get it, but Patreon members, that was a deep song. We're not going to go down and talking about all this stuff. I know y'all want to hear that, but <laughs> season one over. Season one is over. Three more seasons left. I told y'all I'm watching these on my own. These coming out season per season, not episode. So, man, I, I, he leave you with really nothing to say, man. He said it all. <laughs> He's trying to say it in a joking way, too, but be informative. Um, hey, to the next season, to next year. <laughs> I see y'all, man. Till next time. Hey.